Hello, I'm Dr. Ray Self of International College of Ministry. Welcome today to our, our YouTube channel. I, I've got a little something I want to talk to you about today. It comes from Galatians chapter 3 beginning at verse 1 and I, I want to show you just how you can apply this to your life. Okay, I believe scripture is all about the Lord but also believe the Lord gave us the scripture for a reason and that reason is there's always personal application in scripture that can change your life, okay? Starting at verse 1, Paul said this, O oh, you foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? Before your very eyes, Jesus Christ was clearly portrayed as crucified. I would like to learn this one thing from you. Did you receive the Spirit by observing the law or by believing what you heard? Are you so foolish? After beginning with the Spirit, are you now trying, are you now trying to obtain your goal by human effort? Have you suffered so much for nothing? If it really was for nothing, does God give you his spirit and work miracles among you because you observe the law, because you believe what you heard? You see, everything with God is all about the spirit and faith. What he was telling the Galatians is, are you trying to get right with God by achieving and doing it yourself? You see, having begun in the spirit, okay, after beginning the spirit, are you now trying to obtain your goal by human effort. Let me say this. The Christian walk is a walk of faith and trust and yielding and surrendering. It's not a walk of striving and straining and pushing and making things happen. The more we surrender to God, the more we trust Him, the more we let go, the more we give the results to Him, the better results we will have. It's the exact opposite of what society teaches us. Society says, go, 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 work, 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 push, push, push. You make it happen. You do it. You achieve it. But you, what you understand is, with Christians, this won't work. Now, I'm not saying we shouldn't work hard. We should work hard and do our part. But we need to learn the principle of trusting the results to God, surrendering to God. Do you understand this principle? The Bible says that the earth and all the fullness belong to the Lord. The gold and silver, the cattle, all those thousand hills. Everything belongs to God. We're here to be good stewards of whatever he has given us to do. When I know that I, my part is to be honest, to be hardworking, to be an example, to, to do the best I can, but I know that the results of my labor, because I'm not working for man, I'm working for God, and I put the results in his hand, then it says in the book of Ephesians, he will do exceedingly and abundantly more than I could ever think or imagine. In other words, we need to have an attitude of, God, I can't do this without you. Lord, I surrender to you. Lord, I give you this job. Lord, I give you my family. I give you my wife. I give you the results. I acknowledge you in all of my ways. Now, Lord, help me to be a good steward. Help me to work for you. But Lord, help me at the same time to trust you. Because your word says, I seek first the kingdom of God. And all these things shall add, be added unto me. The principle is this. We have, been, as he's told the Galatians, they began in the spirit and they were getting everything by faith and by trusting God. And then they switched to human effort. It's not about human effort. It's about doing your best, but allowing God to supply more than you could imagine. Jesus said, I come to give you life and give it to you more abundantly. It's all about you do the best you can, but then you let it go. You don't sweat the results. You trust God. And when God knows that you surrender to him and you're trusting him, at that point is when he starts to move and give you more than you could ever imagine. You see, there's only so much God will allow you to achieve by your own effort. But God, you see, when you know, like it said in Zechariah, not by might, not by power, but by the Spirit. When you realize it's not about your might, and it's not about your power, it's about the Spirit of the Lord, it's about what He can do, and you're acknowledging Him, and you're working for Him, and you're trusting Him, then you'll see the fruit of your labor will be more than you could ever achieve. Because God honors faith. He honors trust. He, he wants us to do this. So here's my encouragement. If you're struggling financially, if you're struggling in, in any area, marriage, relationships, job, try this. Try surrendering this to God. Say, God, 
I give this to you. Lord, I give this job to you. I'm working for you, Lord. Lord, help me to do my best. But Lord, now I trust you. Lord, I trust you with my wife. I trust you with my children. Lord, I trust you. Lord, you are my source. Lord, I know you own it all. Lord, I trust you. I'm working for you, God. I am leaning not, as the Bible says, into my own understanding, but I'm acknowledging you in all my ways. And God, I thank you that you can do exceedingly and abundantly more than I could ever think or ask. So if you want the exceeding abundant life that Jesus promised, it doesn't come by striving, straining. It doesn't come by superhuman effort. It comes by doing your part, doing the best you can, and trusting the results to God, surrendering to God. As he goes back to the Galatians, he, he, said, he said to the Galatians, he said, did you receive the Spirit by observing the law or believing what you heard? Are you so foolish after beginning in the Spirit, are you now trying to obtain your goal by human effort? If you want to do it by your own effort, all the glory and all the credit goes to you. And God is only going to allow so much credit to go to you. If you give Him credit and you give Him glory and you let Him do it, He will richly award you more than you could ever imagine. We do it because we love God. We're here to serve God and to trust Him with the results. Jesus said, my burden is easy, my yoke is light. So here's my encouragement to you. Relax, trust, surrender, do your part, be excellent, be a good steward, do the best you can, but surrender to God all the results and you'll end up with that exceedingly, abundantly more than you could ever think or ask for. Jesus said, I came to give you life and give it to you more abundantly. But everything with God begins with faith and trust and surrender. Why don't you try that? I'm Dr. Ray Self with the International College of Ministry, and it's good to be with you today.